man accused of driving his SUV through a Waukesha Christmas parade was in court today to enter a plea. And some good news, COVID numbers here in Dane County continue to trend downward. This is News 3 Now at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. We begin with a new, few new details on the officer-involved shooting from last week, including a better picture of who was there at the time. Last Thursday, 21 officers from multiple local, state, and federal agencies were working to arrest Quadron Wilson near the intersection of American Parkway and East Park Boulevard. During that arrest, two agents from the Department of Criminal Investigation fired their weapons. Wilson was injured and taken to the local hospital for treatment. His family says he was shot multiple times. The Dane County Sheriff's Office, who is handling the investigation, says no agents nor officers were on the scene were wearing body cameras. Crime scene investigators are still processing the evidence collected, and the sheriff is asking the community for patience. Later this afternoon, the family of Wilson will be holding another press conference, and will be there. We'll have complete coverage tonight on News 3 Now. Darrell Brooks appeared in a Waukesha County court today for an arraignment hearing. Brooks is accused of killing six people and injuring dozens more when he drove an SUV through a Waukesha Christmas parade last year. He's facing 77 charges, including six counts of homicide and multiple counts of reckless endangerment. Today, Brooks' attorneys entered not guilty pleas for him. He'll be back in court next week. An argument at a Milwaukee lounge turned deadly last night. Police say a gunman shot a 31-year-old woman to death and injured two 23-year-old men. All three victims are employees of the Brownstone Social Lounge. Police say the argument started when the shooter was denied access to the lounge. Authorities are reviewing surveillance video to get more information on the suspect. The two men who were shot are expected to live. Time now for the weather. Austin's over in the Weather Center. A warm start to the day, but things are going downhill. That's exactly right. What we have behind me right here at 40 degrees outside, not going to be the case here in a few hours. Those temperatures are going to stay pretty steady, but slowly drop throughout the afternoon and evening. 40 degrees outside right now, and with calm winds, it really does actually feel quite nice to be outside as of right now. These temperatures looking pretty good here for most of us, but look at that left side of your screen. Down to 25 degrees in Decorah, already down to 34 in Lacrosse, 32 in Verona. And those cooler temperatures are making its way through our state throughout the afternoon and evening. Along with that, we're going to see another round of some lighter snowfall and possibly some rainfall actually mixing in here. So we're not quite done with the snowfall for today, but any additional snow that we're going to see is only really going to total a few tenths of an inch at best. So we're really not expecting much here with this right now. Taking a step back, that's the end of this system. So later on tonight, we're only going to see a few flurries early, and then it does look like taking a peek at our our traffic. This is where we're actually looking pretty good right now, but later on in the day, we may still see a few slick roads and uh, spots here and there. So do keep that in mind. Right now, roads are looking excellent, but later on, they may get slick at times again later on in the afternoon and evening. Yeah, all that standing water is going to freeze. That's exactly right. And these temperatures are going to drop quick, especially later on here tonight. All right. Thank you. Also, we'll check back in a few minutes. Latest da data from PHMDC shows a continuing downward trend in positive Positive cases, COVID cases in all age groups in Dane County. Health leaders say the county has averaged 569 new COVID cases per day over the last two weeks. The average number of COVID hospitalizations is also down to about 132. Officials also say more than half of the county's population is up to date on their COVID vaccinations. The uh, Public Health Madison and Dane County credits the strong vaccination rate for the much lower death rate in Dane County compared to the rest of the state. The gray wolf is back on the endangered species list after a federal judge ruled in favor of the Humane Society and other wildlife organizations. The Trump administration removed the animal from the list under the assertion its population has sufficiently recovered. In response, the wildlife organization filed a lawsuit. They claim the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service failed to take proper consideration when removing them from the endangered species list in the Great Lakes states. The U.S. continues to warn that a Russian invasion of Ukraine could be imminent and it's warning U.S. citizens in that country that they will not be rescued if war breaks out. Natalie Brand has more details from the White House. President Biden emphasized his warning to American citizens living in Ukraine. The time to get out is now. We're dealing with one of the largest armies in the world. This is a very different situation and things could go crazy quickly. 
The president told NBC News's Lester Holt that he will not send U.S. troops into Ukraine to rescue Americans if Russia invades. That's a world war when Americans and Russia start shooting at one another. We're in a very different world than we've ever been in. The White House says President Biden is hosting a conference call with world leaders to discuss Russia's continued buildup of military forces along Ukraine's border. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says the State Department is drawing down personnel from the U.S. Embassy in Ukraine because of what he calls troubling signs of Russian escalation. We're in a window uh, when an invasion could begin at any time. Uh, and to be clear, that includes during the Olympics. Outside the U.S. Embassy in Kyiv, residents of Ukraine were mixed about Russia's next move. This professor says he believes it's 50-50 whether an invasion will happen. As new Russian forces arrive near the border, diplomatic talks are continuing as well. But a key sticking point has been NATO's expansion east. Ukraine is not a member of NATO. Russia wants to keep it that way. But NATO has said closing membership is a non-starter. And it's beefing up its defenses in nearby member countries. We are also uh, assessing whether we should um, adjust our more longer-term presence in the eastern part of lines. A U.S. striker squadron from Germany arrived in Romania Friday. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, the White House. And the U.S. Air Force announced this morning that it's, it is deploying an F-16 squadron to Romania to enhance the security of the NATO country. This is on top of the nearly 2,000 soldiers from the 82nd Airborne who arrived in Romania earlier this week. Eight police officers and a woman were rushed to the hospital this morning after a shooting in Arizona. Phoenix police were responding to reports of shots fired inside a home when they were met with a hail of gunfire. Officers say at one point someone inside the home placed a baby carrier with an infant outside the front door. Investigators say that's when the officers were shot. As officers went to bring that baby to safety, the suspect continued to shoot firing and striking four other officers. At that time, our officers returned fire. The baby was not harmed in the shooting. Investigators say the suspect was found dead in the home. A woman was also found with a critical injury from a gunshot wound. Her condition is unknown. The officers are expected to be okay. Right now, three border crossings between the U.S. and Canada are being blocked by truckers protesting vaccine mandates. The so-called Freedom Convoy also continues to clog the streets of Canada's capital, Ottawa, and the protests have now spread globally from a blockade outside the New Zealand Parliament to a trucker convoy making its way across France. As the economic fallout grows, pressure is mounting on Canadian leaders. I've been on the horn with our Canadian ambassador, with the White House. I mean, I am imploring them to get this resolved. In the U.S., the Department of Homeland Security is now surging staff to their incident command post in Los Angeles following a warning about a possible trucker protest during Super Bowl on Sunday. At the Winter Olympics, it's been a down day for Team USA. Snowboarder Sean White ended his brilliant career without a medal, while skier Michaela Schifrin finished ninth in the Super Giant Slalom. Meanwhile, Olympics officials confirmed that Russian figure skater Kamela Vavilia tested positive for a banned substance before the Games. Vavilia was immediately suspended by the Russian anti-doping agency Rusada. She has challenged the suspension, and Rusada temporarily lifted it, allowing her to train and compete. Now the IOC is appealing that decision, saying that the suspension should be reimposed. There will now be an emergency hearing to determine her fate. There's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. One drug maker strikes a multi-million dollar deal with the government and love meets money with a lack of fiscal honesty. I'm Diane King-Hall at the CBS Broadcast Center. I'll have those stories and more in your CBS Money Watch report. You're watching News 3 Now at Noon.
winter in Wisconsin means snow, blustering winds, and sub-zero temperatures. Will your insulation keep your home warm? Fry Construction can always help. We're your roofing and insulation pros. We'll find cracks and air pathways in your insulation that are letting in the icy cold and hindering your comfort. With our thermal imaging and our cutting-edge insulation techniques, you'll be sure that your home will be warm and energy efficient for many years to come. Visit FryConstruction.com today and prepare your home for the long winter. Water is one of nature's most beautiful and life-sustaining resources. At no fault of their own, many Wisconsin utility customers are facing a shutoff to their water service. This leaves them without the one life-giving resource we all take for granted. And those hardest hit are on fixed incomes, juggling multiple temporary jobs, or those who lost full-time jobs in sectors hardest hit by the pandemic. If someone you care about needs a hand up, your local Wisconsin energy and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your water, heat, and power on. If you are in danger of losing your water service, call 833-H2O-WISC, 833-426-9472. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. Guys, if you're suffering from erectile dysfunction, Peak Performance for Men has a natural solution that can help you today. That's right. Stop wasting money on pill after pill that just masks your ED. Fix it for good. We can make the difference. Call Peak Performance for Men today. showroom in town. You need dwellings. Madison's best kept secret for design and furniture. Shop our fabulous showroom. Hard Rock Road, Fitchburg. Eli Lilly strikes a deal with the White House. The drug maker has agreed to supply 600,000 doses of its experimental COVID-19 antibody treatment. The deal is worth at least $720 million. The nation's balance sheet improved in January. According to the Treasury Department, the U.S. government swung back into the black, posting a surplus of $119 billion last month. Compare that to the deficit of $163 billion last January. The surplus marks the first since September of 2019. MoviePass is attempting a comeback. The founding CEO said he wants to relaunch the movie ticket subscription service this summer. But there's no word on pricing or if any theater chains have partnered with the company. Under the original plan, customers spent $10 a month to see one movie a day. However, it was financially unsustainable and the company shut down in 2019. And serious relationships with some serious financial secrets. According to TD Bank's annual love Love and Money survey, nearly one in three people keeps a financial secret from their partner. The most common, 40% said they've kept a big purchase private. Credit card debt and secret bank accounts followed. Among those keeping secrets, 50% say they have no intention of ever spilling the details. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Diane King-Hall. Diane, thank you. Let's check Wall Street at the noon hour. The Dow down 29, the NASDAQ off 102, and the S&P 500 is off 14. Still ahead on New Street Now at noon, Pam Yankee has the latest numbers and the latest farm numbers and a new escape room with a twist. Plus, temperatures are going to be dropping back down below freezing this weekend. Austin has a full look at your forecast next.
At Furniture and Appliance Mart's President's Day sale, save big on top brands. Millions of dollars worth of inventory in stock and ready to go. All with no interest financing for 18 months. No one in Wisconsin has appliance offers like these. Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley Home Store off the Beltline in East Springs Drive. No matter what's going on outside, we all want to be warm and cozy inside. Especially this winter. We're U.S. Insulation and we fix cold homes. When you have inferior insulation, it doesn't matter how much you crank up your furnace. Your expensive warm air still leaks out of your walls and attic. When we inject our premium foam into your walls, it's like wrapping a coat around your entire home. And just wait until you see how much money that saves you. So stop freezing and start saving. USA Insulation. Supply chain backlogs, inflation, agitation. Here's an idea. If we make things here in America, supply chain issues won't be a thing anymore. That's exactly how we built the Bucks Arena, by having 80% of the materials come from Wisconsin. We did the same by paying higher wages. That's how you know as your senator, I'll get things done. Raising people's wages, make things in America, finally stand up to China. I'm Alex Lazary, and I approve this message because it's time to put more money in the pockets of working people. Memories matter. This bend on Cox Hollow Lake was one of Dad's favorite fishing holes. Crest Funeral and Cremation Service helped us make sure he's never forgotten. Making it personal, it's how you heal. We are Cress. We truly believe your memories matter. Get our very best deals of the season, including doorbusters up to 65% off. Plus, take bonus holiday discounts off our sale prices in-store and online. And interest-free financing for five years. The biggest President's Day sale in Wisconsin starts now at Ashley. Saturday morning, we'll have the weekend's top headlines, including the latest on a Canada blockade that's impacting auto industries. Plus, we'll have updates on a possible winter storm headed our way. Julian Serrett will time it out Saturday at 5 and 8. Madison is growing. The stretch here, we've seen about 1,200 new units. But increasingly in one direction, up. We'll show you where the city is growing the fastest and what kinds of housing are missing. News 3 Now investigates Monday at 6. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Let's check in with Pam Yaki from the Midwest Farm Report on this Super Friday. Yep, that's right. Let's go that way. Super Friday. So I've been telling you about uh, the 25 million pounds of cheese that people are going to buy for Super Bowl Sunday entertainment. Well, here, let's go chicken wings. Got this information from the National Chicken Council. Obviously, Super Bowl weekend's one of the biggest weekends for the industry. They are expecting that Americans will devour 1.42 billion wings. Now, that's enough to circle the circumference of the earth three times. Obviously, people wonder about the supply situation. Is it going to be available? National Chicken Council says at the end of December, their frozen wing inventory was more than 73 million pounds, so they say that's 70% more than they had in 2020. So they're pretty happy with their position there. What about uh, the price? They say that as far as wholesale wing prices are concerned, they're down 19% from their high last May. Retail wing prices are up about 30 cents a pound on average from the same time last year. So uh, that's uh, depending on if you're buying them at the grocery store or if you're going to buy them at the restaurant. But the bottom line is a lot of people are going to be enjoying those uh, chicken wings this weekend for the big Super Bowl. Let's talk a little bit about what's happening in the marketplace today. Our commodities are very robust, especially dairy. Fluid milk contracts, I just glanced over my shoulder. March contracts are up right now 79 cents, but they've been up over a dollar a hundredweight. And uh, today, barrel cheese gained five and a quarter cents to 191 40 pound block cheese up three quarters of a cent at 190 and three quarters mark kane you and i are buying airplane tickets for some sunshiny place butter up 17 and three quarters cents what 17 and three quarters cents to 275 and a half per pound <laughs> Well, that's crazy. <laughs> yes it is i can't tell you why it did it either so it's just and, crazy and what do they do with the rest of the chickens 
Yeah, well, exactly. They grind up a lot of it to make uh, patties and stuff like that. But I know until we can grow a chicken that's all wings, there's going to be some <laughs> excess. Maybe that could be our next project. <laughs> yeah, we'll work on that. All right, Pat. All have right. a great weekend. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Well, you've probably heard of the escape room phenomenon, but chances are you haven't tried one like this. A diving center in France is making a splash with riddles and challenges underwater. Riley Carlson reports. All the pressure of an escape room with a twist. Players in Toulouse are diving into a new challenge, strapping on their scuba gear for the only game of its kind in France. At the beginning, it's stressful, says Vincent Binet. I said to myself, do I have the skills? Divers work to solve a series of riddles or tasks made even tougher by not being able to speak and changing light levels. When they're successful, they can move on to the next room and a new puzzle. Remy Claude says you have to work as a team with one person finding clues, one taking notes and another doing the riddles. Two divers monitor the players for safety, watching how long they've been underwater and checking oxygen levels. When all the clues are found, divers head to dry land to put them all together and decipher a code while trying to beat the clock. <laughs> Taking the popular escape challenge to new depths. Riley Carlson, CBS News, London. And divers need to have completed at least their level one certification to take part in the underwater escape room. Austin, what do you think? Ooh, I don't think I would actually do that escape room, but I've done a few other escape rooms and they are actually a really good time. So if you haven't done one, I definitely would recommend doing something, but maybe not the scuba diving underwater <laughs> one off the bat there. But a few snow showers, maybe even a rain shower is still going to be possible this afternoon. And that may also lead to a dusting or a few tenths of an inch in some spots. But the mild conditions are sticking around 30s and 40s still in the forecast. Today has even reached the 40s, but we are going to see a cold weekend, unfortunately. So that cold front's whipping through here throughout the afternoon and evening hours, and that's attached to some of the snowfall that we are currently seeing just in our north and northwestern communities right now, starting to fall apart as expected. So we're really not going to see a lot of snowfall here from this, but a few snow showers are still looking quite possible, and that may lead to a few tenths of an inch in one or two spots, and that, of course, could turn into a few slick roads. So do keep that in mind. The snow, the last batch is making its way through the area right now. Viroqua, Wisconsin, Dells, Camp Douglas, either already seeing a few flurries and lighter snow showers or about to start seeing them, especially towards Wisconsin Dells. But our future track is going to show that snowfall really exiting pretty quickly here later on tonight, leaving a few flurries behind it. But then after those flurries are gone, we're going to see these temperatures cranking down. The skies actually clear out a little bit and we're going to see the single digits return again by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, only going to see the teens in the forecast, but we are going to stay dry here throughout much of this weekend. The next system that we're really watching out for, it looks to be next Wednesday and especially on Thursday. Right now, it does look like some rain showers are expected to develop here on Wednesday, but then we're going to see those colder temperatures taking over up north, eventually shifting down, and we are expecting a transition from rain to snow here, and that would take place at some point on Wednesday night or Thursday morning. This is just based on some of our latest models. We are still likely going to see some changes here with this forecast, so we're going to keep you updated with all the latest there, but the end of this forecast staying pretty close to average, if not a little bit above average. Our high temperature trend that we're expecting here does show that very cold weekend coming up with the teens, but afterwards we're going to be very close to average, if not above. And then beyond the 10 day forecast, we're looking at widespread warmer temperatures. If you're traveling in the next two weeks or so, especially at the end of that next two week period, pretty much anywhere you go in the lower 48 here, you're going to see some warmer than average temperatures. So that's some exciting news right there for a lot of folks, but we're also going to see those warmer temperatures here locally as well. That Wednesday, a high of 43 degrees. That makes it extremely tough to see any snowfall actually developing there. But we're also going to see that snowfall returning as we do see a transition from rain to snow at some point on Wednesday night or Thursday morning. How much snow we're going to see? Still quite a few answers or uh, answers that need to be had there. We're going to continue to watch out for all these models over the next few days of of course, and one final peak of traffic. Things are looking good to go right now, but over these next few hours, once that last batch of snow moves through, there could be a few slick spots that develop. So do keep that in mind if you are heading out on the roads later on this afternoon and into the evening. All right, Austin, thank you.
There's more to come on News 3 Now at Noon. Howard got a super recipe for Super Bowl Sunday in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Satisfy your sweet tooth on game day with the ultimate game day dessert. We'll show you how to make it. You can decide if you want to share it. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. I was a Navy submariner for over 20 years. I spent a large portion of my life underwater. Service is about putting your country before yourself. But Senator Ron Johnson uses his office to serve himself. Ron Johnson passed a special tax break that benefited his family's business, then cashed out of the company for $5 million. Ron Johnson has doubled his wealth since he's been elected. That's not what service is about. Tell Ron Johnson to stop voting for tax laws that benefit himself. You might be rooting for different teams, but there's one thing you all cheer for. Brew Pub Lots of Matzah Pizza. Loaded with over half a pound of real Wisconsin cheese and piled high with your favorite premium toppings. It's so good, you won't even notice that interception. Stock up before the big game. Brew Pub Lots of Matzah Pizzas are only $4.99 each, now at Menards. Available for a limited time only. Hurry in while supplies last. hard worker. Provide for your family. Do good things in the community. Help out your neighbors. You've been there for so many others. Now, we're here for you. Your local Wisconsin Energy and Emergency Assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your heat and power on. Apply now for a hand up. Guys, do you suffer from erectile dysfunction? Now there's great news. Peak Performance for Men will help you regain your performance and confidence naturally. Peak Performance for Men uses an advanced form of acoustic wave therapy, clinically shown to open up and regrow blood vessels, restoring normal and natural function ability where it counts most. There are no needles, no surgery, and best of all, no pain. Call now and receive an ultrasound, your initial consultation, all for free, in over $300 value. Call Peak Performance for Men today. Save on your fave at the Century House. Right now, get $200 off stressless signature base recliners, classic base recliners with power, and new stressless cross base recliners. Or get a free accessory with purchase. It's time for stressless. Shop the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. Whether you're going to your neighbor's house to watch the big game this Sunday, or you're planning on staying home, we've got a treat they'll make wherever you watch it that much sweeter. It's a slab cookie, which is not only tasty and trendy, it's the ultimate game day winner. To make it, we begin by making a basic graham cracker crumb crust, which we press into the bottom of a rim baking sheet before popping it in the oven. While that's baking, we beat together a couple sticks of butter along with some brown and white sugar. Then we beat in some eggs and vanilla. We add flour and salt. And after it comes together, we slowly stir in some chocolate chips and walnuts. Now we spread this over the crust Sprinkle the top with some chopped candy bars and back into the oven it goes. Once it cools, we cut it into bars. What's nice about slab cookies is that they're easy to eat and one batch feeds a crowd. To get the recipe for what we call our candy bar slab cookies, simply visit our website. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a super game day way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Here's Austin, one final check of the forecast. And we're still watching out for a few snow showers, maybe even mixing in with some rain here and there, but that could lead to a few slick spots on some roadways, especially throughout the afternoon and evening hours. So do keep that in mind. We're still expecting those few showers, but a high of 40, those temperatures will continue to drop. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you back here at four. Have a great weekend, everybody.